So we're over 70% of the way through Alaskan Adventures now, I just looked as I loaded up the game, and I'm still looking forward to every single one of these videos. It gets to be like Monday, Tuesday, and I can't wait for Thursday to come around so we can do another video on Alaskan Adventures, but we're still here in southeastern Alaska. This is going to be the second episode in this region, and we're going to go and see what we're going to be doing for hunts. So we have three male grizzly bear with a bow. We'll actually just buy those tags now. Then we're going to do, oh, the red squirrel one. So that's going to be a new animal for the Trophy Lodge, and I think the last animal? There might be some fish we don't have. And then Mountain Goats with a bow. Yeah, that was the weird one. All going to be under 75 yards if we shoot over 75 with a bow. So we do need a bow for our grizzly bear hunt here. So we'll get that equipped and head out. And I mean, we know how this goes by now. We're just going to pretty much run around this region until grizzly bear charge us, and we'll shoot him with the bow in that way. But I'm not sure if we've seen this loading screen art. I think we've hunted grizzly bear before. I'm pretty sure we have everything in the trophy lodge, so we must have, but there's kind of a lot of bears in this game, so I can't remember for sure, but looks like all the big games down this way, which is downwind and probably just going to make it more likely they'll charge us from further away. I don't really know what the point of it is, because this is the first time they've done it in any of the hunts, but like these areas up in here are where the grizzly bear live, and we spawned way down here. I don't know why we have to go so far just to get to where they are, but I think we're almost there. And as I said, we know how it's gonna go. We're just gonna pretty much run by them until they just put themselves into bow range. Pretty much just like that. So... Oh, well. I didn't know they did that. I think we saw another species of bear do it, but I didn't realize they did it, like, while they were charging. Because the ones that are on its hind legs just far away before... That was actually kind of cool, but... I mean, I think we should be able to claim that. Unless there's another thing that I'm not Stop realizing? Try and take it down. Why does it not say to claim our trophy? And why is that so sensitive? Trying to move the bow. Am I forgetting something? Oh, three males. Okay. So that's probably just a female then the first time. But that one will be a male. Oh. And a trophy legend. Well, good deal, because we didn't actually have any that were... A required trophy legend hunt but I do think we've killed a trophy legend grizzly before I didn't get a high score for that one so that is almost certainly the case we got something else heading this way or it was heading this way that's a bear I mean I guess we'll go get tracks but I didn't even realize that we had to get three males I guess just I read right past that and that one was a male I don't know why it spooked off like that they don't really ever seem to do it, but we'll sort of just head up there. I bet he comes back. Assuming this is actually the right one. Do we even hit that? Just a bit outside. I'm pretty sure it's completely impossible to actually kill them with a single shot. Try to fix that. The machine gun you're firing. Well, I don't think it's possible to insta-kill him, so... You can't hunt that here. Oh. Well then, that was not the right one. So then, I assume that's the right one? I think it's just fleeing, though. Oh, goodness, what the heck? Hi. That was not cool. All right. We got the track anyway. That was the right bear. I didn't know there were wolves on this map. And our bear is, for some reason, determined not, a not to charge us. Such a weird... Every time I think I know how things are going to go, it ends up being a weird hunt that just goes differently. We hit him, like, in the neck with the first shot, by the way, and it still was not enough to instantly drop him. But he didn't get a warning. I think we just got to wait for it to stop sliding across the ground here. All right, so that was just a little male at 23. And the second shot was right front leg. I think it just takes two shots regardless. I think there's a grizzly bear back in here. Sounds like it. It looks like a little one. I can't tell if it's after us. I guess it is. Oh, you barmit fall! Bring it down now. Just every time. Taking two shots, but I did have a male grizzly track there. Definitely just heard a wolf. Need to probably keep that away from us. Apparently, you can hit the broad side of a barn. I guess it's just. Weirdly sliding down the hill. That looked terrible. 
Almost felt bad about that, but... Okay. That one did look smaller, so there might actually be something to that. It looks smaller and it actually scores lower, so that's interesting, but... Chess shop, so I guess... Technically, we hit better. But, uh... Get a trophy legend out of that. And, as I said, expect it to go one way and... It kinda doesn't. I was sure they would just charge us and make it easy, and they sorta did, but... Not to the degree that I expected. But we are gonna have two side events to do today, and... One of them is gonna be fly fishing, which I think we have to actually buy the equipment for. So we'll go and do that, and I think we'll try fly fishing, because... As I said last time, I seem to remember there being some, like... Kinda small, nuanced things to it that take a bit of time to get used to. So it might be a little bit frustrating, but... That's the fly pack. And then I know there was... Okay, we need to fly rod and reel, I'm gonna assume. And apparently we could have done better... with spinning tackle, so we might just get those now and have them for the future, but... Do we need to equip stuff? We got the deluxe fly reel. That we actually unlocked last time, so I didn't need to buy that reel. But we'll get the fly rod, and then I guess we gotta get the... fly pack, which is somewhere. Alright, so, we'll go and give this a shot. Hopefully it's not as difficult as I seem to remember it being. So I just went through the tutorial here, and basically, we just have to match the bar on the right with the hook on the left, and it's just with the, like, W and S keys. And then we can cast. So that was a good cast, so I guess we did alright. That does not look like a rainbow trout in the slightest, so I'm gonna guess that's not what we're after, but... We'll hook it just to find out for sure. And how does the reeling work here? I guess that's just kind of the same. It's kind of interesting they specifically put you in, like, this apparel for fly fishing because I didn't choose that. And as far as I know, you just wear your normal hunting gear, like, for any of the other fishing trips, so... Interesting they chose that, but... I don't know, I like this stuff. I like that you actually have to, like, move the rod and stuff to bring the fish in as best as possible. But that is an arctic grayling, so not what we're after. And I guess that just means we need to... Well, maybe. Uh, we need to switch lures here. Maybe we're finally onto something that kind of looks like a rainbow. There's also cutthroats in here, and I don't know just how, uh, how well these are going to be mimicking real life, so... We're going to at least try to find out here. So, other than the fact that we just went swimming to get that, that is a cutthroat, so... We're still too far to the west, then. Yeah, for both of the species that we're not after, so... Like, this little area is where the rainbows are, and... If we go over there... There's just, like, one fish, and I can't seem to get it to... Uh, go to the fly, so I don't know what I'm supposed to use. Have we finally got this figured out? I think that... Yeah, that would definitely be a rainbow. Let's actually get this, then. Hopefully it's gonna make life easy. This has been easily the toughest fishing challenge so far, and it's just been like the little area where rainbows are has next to none. It actually looks like there might only be two rainbows on this entire map, and trying to figure out the right fly to use and just all that has been quite frustrating, but finally got to the right area. I still enjoy the fact that you have to find that sweet spot with the rod to not get too much tension. It kind of seems like it might be like a good size one, because He's been as difficult to bring in as any other fish, like, in any of the other, uh, fishing challenges we've had, so... Hopefully it's a good one. That'll be something we try to check out in the lodge bo before we're done here. Even right as we get him here. It's kind of realistic he would probably see our feet in the water since we're standing in the river here, but... We'll actually get him in. And go for a dive to actually pick him up, but... I mean, 10 pounds on a fly rod, that would be pretty cool. I'd like to actually do that someday, but... That should be our high score, now that's a high score rainbow, because we never got one. The other kind of challenging thing is that the fish do actually swim around like as you're trying to cast, and you gotta cast pretty close to them to get their attention to come up and actually check it out, so until you build up a long cast, sometimes they just kind of swim away, but I think that's another rainbow coming up here to the surface to check out this fly, so if we can actually get them hooked, we can be done with this, and I did not expect it to be this difficult. And honestly, as long as that took, I think the fact that we uh, put some skill points in fishing probably saved us, because I'm gonna guess that it gives you more time to hook them. That's kind of probably what the hooking uh, skill does. So that was probably useful, because that took a minute. 
so if he'll cooperate and actually let us get him all the way in here. Of course he's going to turn one more time, but didn't get that far away. That is going to complete this fishing challenge and the fishing challenge for this video, because we'll save the last one for next time, but that's a smaller one at five pounds. Still gave us actually a lot of trouble to bring in, but that was actually kind of difficult. Did they say something regardless? Because that wasn't a high score one. Well, anyway, got that completed. We are going to go and do our next hunt, which is the Red Squirrel one. So, I think probably we're going to buy a new shotgun, because I think there's like a semi-auto one. Unless we have it already. Okay, so that's just great. I'd like to point out that I think I just successfully uh, completed the Red Squirrel mission, but for some reason... Are you charging us, too? Well, that's the way to do it. I guess so. For some reason, one of the Red Squirrels I shot just, like, immediately disappeared. And it counted as one of my tags, but the mission wouldn't complete, so... I guess we get to go do it again. But, uh... Interesting way to start. By the way, this shotgun just seems to destroy wolves and bears, but it's just awful against the squirrels, which you'll see. Basically, if you guys remember the rabbits from the very first video in this series, that's pretty much how this is going to go, and uh, I think music and all, so we'll just get straight into that. What? How many times do we just shoot that? Don't grow on trees, you know. Five or six times. What on earth? And we literally insta dropped a wolf and a grizzly bear with it. How much sense does that make? Anyway. Apparently you can hit the broad side of a barn. Woo! Now that's the way to do it. I will say, having to do it a second time did actually uh, make it a little easier. I think that's the biggest one we killed too. That's a high score that ought to last. So I suppose that's a good thing, but that was just to have to do it twice, it's just so frustrating. The little things are impossible to hit. Half the time when you do hit them, they don't die anyway. It's just, it's a good time. I don't know. But uh, we're going to go and do this shooting marathon. This thing took forever last time and I edited a lot of it out. It's just a bunch of animals attacking us and we have like the worst gun for the entire thing. I don't remember a wolf being the uh, loading screen art before, so... Maybe it'll at least be a little bit different. This one's a time attack. So is it like the faster we kill them, the better? This is a different weapon. This is like the... Maybe the 375? So how does this work? Oh yeah, I see. So we have a limited amount of time. It would work best if I actually kill them, but... Just a bit outside. I guess the quicker we do it, the better. But if that's the amount of time we have for all of these, you can hit the broad side of a bar. that's going to be good. There's actually a lot more stuff here, which makes it at least a little more challenging. It would be nice if they'd attack us and not, like, hide. Woo! What? Now that's the way to do it. Why did some stuff die over here? Certainly weird to start out. Woo! Now that's the way to do it. This is actually at least more difficult. Like a sniper out here. Why do they just run away and die, though? So this is kind of the difference. I restarted, and rather than animals randomly dying, I end up, like, chasing them. 
boy, you can hit the broad side of a bar. So I don't know if it was like intended that maybe like when you restart it, it gets made easier, or if uh, restarting sort of like fixed it and maybe wasn't working right. Because I can't imagine why there'd be a timer if animals just randomly die after like three, four seconds anyway. So uh, at this point, we're doing much better. We're probably close to silver, but yeah, at least uh, things seem to be working properly. Not a great shot. Come on, you can do it. I think that just got us to gold, actually. Yeah. Kill ratio is 95%, so maybe one animal got away that entire time, and that was all because of the restart. Like, we didn't have stuff just dying seconds in, and I really don't know. I don't know what was intended and what wasn't, but I know we got that complete, and it's not going to be any more frustration trying to do that, so one final hunt for this video, and that is the mountain goat with the bow for some reason under 75 yards, as if that's something we'd really have to worry about, but we'll get our equipment swapped around here again. And I mean, the way that mountain goat hunting has gone in the past, they pretty much charge us whether we like it or not, so this in theory should be pretty easy, but we'll see if they actually end up doing that. So uh, found the mountain goats. Oh, if it didn't run into the dead one, I think we had that too. There's a young one there, but they actually aren't... Uh, hello. They don't seem to be anyway coming after us. Which is different, but I guess we're gonna have to regroup here. We did get a little female, but I don't think we have a trophy legend mountain goat, so I'd like to at least try that. It's just hunting them with a bow is slightly frustrating, so... Oh. Well... One ran by here. I think, unfortunately, like, the best thing we can do is try to, you know, get shots on the run because we just haven't been very successful stalking stuff, and maybe I'm just doing it wrong, but anytime I try it, 50 yards is about as close as I get to anything, and at that point, they're usually spooking anyway. That looked pretty big. You're like a sniper out here. Absolute blind shot, but... I think that's maybe it? Probably shouldn't have taken a shot completely blind through the brush, but... Kinda happens. It's got huge horns. But whatever stops sliding so we can pick it up. The shot looks somehow perfect coming out right in front of the front shoulder there. That was it though. 38 scoring Trophy Legend Mountain Goat. I'm not super proud of the way, uh... The way we brought that down, but... I mean, like I was saying, anytime we really try to stock to within bow range, they just spook anyway, and this seems to be the most effective method, so kind of what we're going with. I mean, we did that a little more properly, but even still, we just ran to where we could see it. But that's three. 26 scoring female. Should be one last mountain goat we gotta harvest, and I'm pretty sure. Actually, no. Hit the broad side of a bar. I thought that one was an offspring, but that was an adult one. Very tiny female, but we got ourselves a Trophy Legend Mountain Goat. I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, we got the Deluxe Fly Rod, so our final fly fishing next time maybe is going to be easier. I really don't know what it actually does for us, but just so I don't forget, I'm going to go and uh, get that equipped now. I think when you unlock stuff, it just automatically uh, puts it in your locker. Yeah, so we'll unequip the fly rod, we'll equip the deluxe one, and we're going to go into the lodge here and just take a look at some of the new stuff, uh, specifically the Trophy Legend Mountain Gun. I want to see that. I mean, that looks way better than what we had in here before because we just had like a tiny little random female. So that was cool to get a Trophy Legend even though we shot it blind, running straight away from us with a bow through the brush, but got him down, so I guess that's kind of all that matters, but... I actually kind of like that. I think the horns could be a little bit darker. But I think they did pretty good with the size and stuff on that. But I think as far as big game, that's it from today. Because we killed a Trophy Legend Grizzly. But uh, the one we have in here was shot with a muzzleloader. And the one from today was a bow. So I guess this one was just a little bit bigger. I feel like the one from today was 28 or 29. So it must have been close. But either way, 
Uh, I did want to go and see the red squirrel for one, just because uh, that completed the small game part, and actually that uh, rainbow trout completed it for fish as well. I guess because we caught a cutthroat and a grayling today, it must have uh, completed those two, because we haven't actually had to fish for them. But anyway, that seems like a weird choice. It's the only trophy in the entire lodge that's like, I guess, behind glass? I think that's what they're going for there. Kind of odd, but they actually didn't do too bad with the models for that. I didn't even realize it's got an acorn there. But let's see the fish. That would have been the grayling that we caught first. Then there was a cutthroat trout that I thought might have been a rainbow. And the actual rainbow is going to be right here towards the end. I actually like that. Interesting kind of plaque thing they have it on, but... That's pretty cool. I'm glad they have like so many different species of birds, fish, small game, big game, all in this game. It's pretty cool, but uh, we are at 81% completion, so I'm, I'm thinking like probably four more videos, if I had to guess, and we'll probably be through Alaskan Adventures, but I can feel the difficulty level kind of increasing as we go through here, so hopefully it continues to as we get towards the end of the game, because I don't want it to be super easy, but... It was fun. It was fun to actually have a little more of a challenge with uh, the fishing and stuff today, so I think that's definitely good. But anyway, that is going to do it for this video, so thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.